Hello everybody, my name is Adam. We're back in Planet Zoo today where I've got another creation video for you, another speed build. And it is going to be a habitat for one of the new animals released in the Africa Pack DLC, which is the Southern White Rhinoceros. This actually ended up coming out looking pretty modern. It tends to come out looking modern when I create a habitat for some reason. It's just the way I build. And you can see me here just getting in place the uh, custom barriers that I created um, using the rod pieces, the new plaster pieces, what was also released in the Africa DLC, and one of the new um, fencing, what was released in the Africa Pack DLC. And once that was in place and I got the foundation in, it was time for me to then move on to the animal barrier. Now obviously you don't want your rhinos, especially being rhinoceroses, rhinoceroses, is that how you say it? That doesn't sound right. Rhinos, you don't want your rhinos coming right up to your guest and be able to bite your guest hands off when the little kid is put the hands over the fence. So I wanted to create quite a natural looking barrier for our rhinos and I did that by creating a water barrier. So we've got the initial fencing for our guest and then a water barrier so our rhinos cannot get up to the fence for our guest. And then again, we ended up building um, an inside area a bit, a bit later on, which you'll see, uh, which is quite similar to other creations I've built, including one of the new creations for the uh, cheetah habitat, what I created for Kangafon 2021. I wanted to go with the same kind of theme and uh, you know, the same kind of like look of other creations that I've created for this Africa Pack DLC. Once all the water was in place, it was time to add some foliage, which I did. I added some rocks, as you can see me doing here in these stop motion parts. I added rocks, two different kind of rocks. If you're going to add rocks in Planet Zoo, add a variety of different colours to give it that more natural and more realistic look. And then I decided to create like a little shading area, like you can see me doing here, for our rhinos. And again, just adding a bit more depth to the actual habitat make it pop and make our guest have a main attraction area where our rhinos can sleep under, chill out under and we will end up putting some of the habitat um, enrichment grass underneath so they can actually lie down underneath there and have a chill out away from the sun, our lovely rhinoceros. And now it is time to build the inside part of our habitat where our lovely rhinos can go and chill out away from the eyes of our guest and get a little bit of privacy. But before we do that, if you're new around here, then feel free to subscribe and join the community. It will be lovely to have you here. And if you're liking this video so far, then hit that like button. And this is the start of the main structure. Again, I wanted it to be like a slanted roof, so that's what we go with. Taking inspiration from my habitat I created for Kanga Font 2021. If you're not seeing it, it'll look something like this and the video will be in the Planet Zoo playlist down in the description. Also in that description box, you will get a link to my Discord. If you wanna join my Discord and give me any feedback of any creations I've built, good or bad feedback, I'm totally open to um, you know constructive criticism. As well, you can show me your own creations and I can give you constructive criticisms. Or if you're amazing at this game like some people are, you can just amaze me with your amazing habitat creations. But yeah, all the links you will ever need is down in the description box below. If you don't have Discord, you can just leave me a comment and I promise I will get back to you in the comment section. Now you can see me now just creating, I wanted to create like a double roof so we create the main roof and then the inside roof and we do end up um, keeping it with the same colour themes and keeping that modern look. So this main structure is basically going to be the inside area for our rhinos so they can get a bit of peace and quiet. It's also going to be the entrance point in our barrier for our, um, our staff, our zookeepers to be able to enter to feed our animals and re refill the, the uh, food enrichment items as well. Again, it's a little bit hidden um, away and we end up adding, um, a, we end up adding um, a power and water as well as a keeper hut. Um, so you've got the full package. If you want to download this for your own zoo, you can do. Again, you know what I'm going to say. The link is in the description to my Steam Workshop page where you can download this and have it in your own zoos and you don't have to put the rhinos in it was just my decision to put rhinos in you can use this habitat for pretty much any of the animals in planet zoo now i just want to talk to you a little bit about the species itself the southern
Labyrinth White Rhinoceros. Now, a little bit of background information. It's estimated that the 17,460 southern rhinos in the wild. Now, that doesn't seem a lot to me. Um, it, it, it makes them far the most abundant subspecies of the rhino in the world. The southern Africa is, is the stronghold for the subspecies. 93% of the total subspecies is in um, South Africa. The rhinos themselves are actually technically listed as um, what they class as near threatened. Um, so basically, though it's mostly threatened by habitat loss, continuous poaching in, in recent years, We've all heard the stories about that, absolutely awful, and the high illegal demand for the rhino horn uh, for commercial purposes and use in traditional Chinese medicine. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to talk a lot about that because it is a very upsetting, upsetting point to talk, but these rhinos are absolutely gorgeous, and it is my dream to see an animal like this in its natural wild environment. Now I'm going to shut up and let you enjoy the rest of this creation and the rest of this speed build. I hope you enjoyed this video. My name's Adam. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. And I will catch you in the next one, either in the next video or the next stream. That's right. If you don't know, I have started streaming on Twitch. The link for that will also, guess what, be down in the description. So if you want to come and say hi and see me build something like this live, then you can do to my Twitch channel. So, like I just said, have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will catch you on Twitch or on the next video on YouTube. Bye-bye.